Okay, so let us begin. So there are three different points of view that we are going to be focusing on. Um, worm's eye, street, le street level, and bird's eye. Um, a worm's eye point of view is when you're literally in the perspective of a worm, when you're looking up. The street level is when you are standing at the, like in the middle and you're looking directly at the middle of an object. Bird's eye is when you're looking down at an object. These are the three points of view. We're gonna be sketching five cylinders today. Um, what I'm gonna call full bird's eye, half bird's eye, eye, street level or eye level, half worm's eye and full worm's eye. So basically we're gonna be sketching a cylinder so any, if you have any cylinders like around you, you can use those, um, a cup or a mug or a water bottle. But because not everybody has that, we're just gonna kind of visualize these in our minds. Here is the different perspectives. So this is what I would call, this first one here is what I would call eye level. We know it's eye level because we can see neither into the top or into the bottom. It's to, we, the eye, is right here in the center. Notice how as we get more into full bird's eye, so it gets the top of it gets larger and larger. So as the eye, as the cup gets further away from us, we see more and more of the top. We see more and more into the cup. So what I would like everyone to do at this time, okay, is Grab your cylinders, or excuse me, grab your big paper. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be setting up our sketches, okay? We're gonna set them up together as a class, and then we're gonna be taking notes on the side. I have it facing vertical from me. This is going to be the top of my paper, so I'd like everyone to write kind of at the top, write, of course, your name, as always. Okay, and we're also we're going to rewriting point of view because this is our point of view exercise. Now we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be sketching five cylinders and we want these cylinders to be kind of placed in the center of our paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cardboard, line it up with the edge and trace. Trace the, on the left and trace on the right. Now, you'll notice that it is, doesn't quite go to the bottom here. So you're gonna have to kind of scoot it down and repeat this process again for the bottom of your paper. When we're looking at cylinders, the top of a cylinder, oftentimes artists think that like, let's say we're looking up at a cylinder. The top of the, cil the, top of the cylinder is going to be a smile. Okay, when we're looking down at a cylinder, the bottom of the cylinder, no, excuse me, when we're looking down at a cylinder, the bottom of it is going to be a smile. Or we're looking up at a cylinder, the top of it is going to be a frown. And I want you to remember this. So please draw this diagram in either the note side and write the two rules below. So again, just draw the diagram. All will be revealed momentarily. And again, either in the left or right hand side. So again, if a curve is below the eye level, it is a smile. If a curve is above the eye level, if we're looking up at it, 
it's going to be a frown. Okay, I'm gonna move on. If you need to, if you still need this, again, you can always screenshot it. But, or again, any presentation I show you will be, can be found on PowerSchool. The next rule, an old meme, oldie but a goodie. The, the second rule, the further the curve is from the eye level, the more dramatic it will be. Remember the chipmunk? I know it's an old one. But again, please write this, this third rule. The further the curve is from the eye level, the more dramatic it will be. the back to our note paper. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna kind of draw tick marks or guidelines to help place these cylinders evenly on the page. So I'm gonna say a bunch of numbers, okay? And I want everyone to kind of follow me along with these numbers. The first thing, many of you have already done this, I'm actually gonna fold my long paper in half because many of you have already done this. Okay, so that halfway line, and I'm just gonna darken it. You guys don't necessarily have to do this but I'm gonna do it so you can see it. Okay, that halfway line is our eye level. So if I was a little person, if I was a little, little dude, I would be standing right here. So that's me, I'm this little thing. So basically we're going to draw several large cylinder, several cylinders above and several cylinders below in this center column. We're going to space them evenly on the page. So what I would like everyone to do, take your ruler, line it up with the center. So my one is down here at the center. And I'm going to say a couple tick marks. I want you to, at the, what, as, I say these, as I say these numbers, draw a little tick mark in the center column. Everybody understand? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Once I start saying these, yeah, Kylie's ready. Because once I say these numbers, it's easy to get lost. Okay. Are we ready? Do a tick mark at the one. Do a tick mark at the two. Do a tick mark at the four. Do a tick mark at the five and do a tick mark at the seven. Okay. Now, what I would like you to do, are you ready? This is something new I'm trying this year, because you know, this year isn't new enough as is. I would like you to erase in between the one and the two. I would like you to erase in between the four and the five. And I would like you to erase everything above the seven. We're going to repeat this process one more time. But this time, on the other side, do a tick mark at the one. Do a tick mark at the two. Do a tick mark at the four. Do a tick mark at the five. Do a tick mark at the seven. Erase in between 
the one and the two. A race in between the four and the six. Erase everything above the seven. These are going to be, we're going to have two cylinders. Do you see where these two lines are that we've left? That's where our cylinders are going to be. We spaced them. So now we've done our cylinders from our birds. No, I keep messing that up. So these are our worm's eye cylinders. We're looking up at them. Now we're going to do our cylinders from bird's eye, looking down at them. I'm going to repeat the whole process one more time. I know this is tedious. If I learned anything from our bases and faces, I should go a little slower when measuring things. Okay. Do a tick mark at the one. Do a tick mark at the two. Do a tick mark at the four. A tick mark at the five. And a tick mark at the seven. Erase everything between the one and the two. Erase everything between the four and the five. And erase everything below the seven. One more time. Do a tick mark at the one. A tick mark at the two. What number comes next? Tick mark at the four. <laughs> a tick mark at the five. And a tick mark at the seven. Erase everything between the one and the two. The four and the five. And everything below the seven. We're not done yet though. There's one final guideline. So this is a guideline and we're ultimately gonna end up erasing these lines, these next lines that we're gonna do. So please draw these lightly. I'm going to connect the dots. Again, as lightly as possible. These are guidelines to help us with the symmetry, just like with our faces and faces project. So you should have these kind of rectangles evenly spaced throughout. Once you have finished setting up your paper. Once you have, so you should have five rectangles. One, two, three, four, five. Please number them. This will help me when I kind of give you advice or critique. So we're gonna start this first one will be a one. The second one will be a two. Underneath my little dude, I'm gonna write a three. Then a four. And then a five. Again, this will kind of help me as we do critique so we know what we're all talking about. 